Welcome to The Good Ride. I'm James Beastie. And I'm an average rider with extensive snowboard gear knowledge that helps other average riders have an above average time on the hill. That's a mouthful. Just thought of it. Can't believe I got it in one line. This is the Karua Uber Egg. Next to it is the Capita Spring Break 2024 Powder Glider. I will be referencing the Powder Glider and comparing these two because they have a lot of overlap, but I will also be referencing other Karua boards like the Dart and the Pentonic and the Pencil. I rode this primarily with Union Atlas, Nidecker Rift Lace, and Burton Tourists. I only rode this a few times just when there was powder, but that's the way I personally only wanna ride this board. When it comes to sizing, this 57 fit me really well. I didn't feel like I was lacking for turn initiation in tighter spots. Now, when it comes to the shape, this is very tapered, very directional, very set back, and it has a lot of options here. You can go center in the middle, or you can set it all the way back and really ride way off the tail and just have that nose sticking way up. You can choose almost any kind of stance width you would like. Then you throw in this camber profile that is so unique. It is continuous rocker throughout, very loose, but then on top of that, the entire board seems to have a bend down the middle. It seems to be lifted throughout almost the entire board. So very loose, very spinny on groomers, but in powder, even in shallow powder, you can feel that loose spinny feel a little bit. You really need to get over a foot before this starts becoming really fun, but the deeper, the better with this thing. Now let's talk flex here. You've got kind of a, it's stiff, but it's more on the medium stiff side. You've got a little softer nose, a little give in the tail. It was kind of easy to lean back in and butter, but those lifted sides make it fine for a powder butter, difficult to butter off the nose or tail on groomers. There's good pop. If you give it a little bit, it pops a decent amount. Definitely more of a damp ride than the Capita, but I really liked the way the Capita can pop and just has that dynamic feel that's not ultra light, but on the ultra light side of things. This is not really an all conditions ride. It's something that you just ride in great powder. I don't want to ride this all day in tracked up resort snow. The 2024 Capita Spring Break Powder Glider does a much better job than past models. It still can get a little bucky and bouncy in uneven snow, but it doesn't feel as cranky in bottom out kind of powder than it used to. And when it comes to speed, you're riding a board that's like a boat. So in powder, if you want to pick up speed, it's great. But if you need to bomb down to a chair on a groomer line, it can feel a little sketchy and it's going to be harder to stop because it's harder to find that edge. The Spring Break Powder Glider and all the Karua boards, you know, the Pentonic, the Pencil, the Dart, those all just jam down groomers are groomer specialists as much as they are powder specialists. So definitely better there. And with edge hold, it's hard to get to the edge and hard to get it to engage. This is for soft snow only. That's how I feel. Where the spring break and all the other Karua boards grip better than the spring break, but the spring break powder glider grips way better than the Uber egg. Turning, not really its thing. A good rider can go out and play around with this and have some fun, but it's just so lifted and so spinny. Every time I got it on groomers, I didn't want to be on groomers anymore, and I wanted to be back in deep powder. And speaking of powder, this thing floats. If you set this all the way back with a 21.25 inch stance width, you can get negative seven inches back from center of board. That's massive and you really feel it. I rode it close to being set all the way back and then I used the setback inserts with my Union Atlas and man, I felt so far on the tail. You're further on the tail than you think because it's a rounded tail. It's like the pentonic. You don't think you're a setback on board as you would looking at it, but on snow, you feel way more setback on board. And this thing just has the floatiest to float. It's such a one dimensional kind of ride, but that one dimension that it has is just exceptional. 
And like the Capita Spring Brakes, this Uber Egg just has this unique feel in powder that just sits on top of the snow in a way that most boards don't. Even set all the way back on the tail, I didn't really feel the tail sinking too much. It felt like the whole board was just sitting on top of the snow like a boat sits on top of water. And I loved that feeling, especially when it was deep, when it was shallower powder and you occasionally bottomed out, it would feel a little slidey, a little bit harder to turn, but the deeper it gets, it was such a dream and is such an amazing floater. And that's what you get this for. And to sum it up, it's gonna be a hard board to recommend, but for those of you that have a deep quiver already, even if you have a dart or a pencil or a pentonic or a cafe racer, this still might be a blast to have when it just gets super deep. 